both you and the opposition have been pretty steadfast in your support for Israel, the country. But at what point does the Israeli government's actions uh, increase the risk to people here in Britain and lead us to say that perhaps uh, things may be better dealt with if uh, there's a different leadership in Israel? Well, as ever, we don't interfere in other countries' democratic processes, be that in Israel or anywhere else. Uh, and as you pointed out in your question, there's a fundamental difference between who happens to be in power in a country and that country itself. And Britain has very uh, close and, and friendly relations uh, with uh, Israel, as indeed we do with many other countries in the uh, Middle East. I, I've just been uh, in the last few days to uh, the Middle East, um, to, for example, to, to Egypt. And we maintain relations everywhere. But yes, there is, uh, you know, there, there, there is a concern. Even within the Israeli um, system, you'll find quite a bit of disagreement uh, because they're made up of a coalition government with people who have different views. But, but I think that... is being pretty provocative, isn't he, really? Uh, well, look, I, I, I've already said I don't think I can be more explicit. Um, I think it's disappointing to hear uh, Benjamin Netanyahu saying he doesn't believe in a two-state solution. In fairness, he said that all of his political career, as far as I can uh, tell. I don't think we get to a solution uh, unless we have a two-state solution. So, uh, you know, we, 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 we do disagree on that particular issue. But we do agree that Israel has a right to defend itself. And we do think that there is a responsibility uh, to maintain international humanitarian law. Uh, and that's something that I was speaking to my opposite number, Minister Gallant, about as recently as, as Wednesday. Okay. 